So you're never gonna believe this. You're not. I can guarantee you're not gonna believe it. You're gonna hear me say it and you're, and you're gonna be like, there's no, there's no way I do not believe this guy. It's not, it's not raining again. It's not completely soaked everywhere. And it's definitely, definitely not moving day. Although all those things are true. It's raining, it's been raining for about six hours, eight hours maybe straight. It's really sloppy and it's moving day. Uh, here's what we're dealing with. All this dirt was just put here a couple days ago to help with the previous rain. But as you can see, all these little water pockets here in the dirt. So we're gonna have to hitch up, which shouldn't be a problem. But then getting out of here, hopefully we don't have to go in four wheel drive, but some of that dirt is really uh, thick and sloppy. Oh boy. So far, I'm really, really liking this campground. But let me show you something first before I show you around. That's, that's actually putting it mildly. That because was probably 15 minutes of filth from the last place we were at. Yeah, because we've been sweeping like two or three times a day at least. But, but, this site. Oh my goodness, this site. Let Steve show you around. Let's go look around. First of all, look at this. Look at our pavement we have out front. So when we're stepping out of the Airstream, we're not just stepping down to do a bunch of mud and dirt. This is such, almost like a breath of fresh air. And let me show you something extra special. Over on the other side, we have full hookup sewer, 50 amp and water. First time we've had that in a long time. Now granted, we could have had full hookups before, but we don't usually pay for that. But here it just made sense because I think it's all they have. And like I said, it was super cheap anyway. Internet is 30 megabits down. It's kind of slow up, but we can redirect the um, WeBoost and improve the upload speed. But I am super stoked about 30 megabits internet at this site. And we're using this opportunity to dry everything out. So the only reason why the awning is up right now is to dry that sucker out because it was soaked when we left. And as you can see, we have the awnings up on the other side as well. A reset, a reset from all the mud and dirt to something that's a little bit more, I don't know, enjoyable, comfortable. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. But I will say the last place we were at, Apple Creek, they were very, very nice people who own that place. It was rainy, it was soaked, and they basically came by earlier today and said, if you're still planning on leaving today, don't worry about checkout. Just leave whenever you think you could make it, and even if you have to stay an extra day, that's fine, don't worry about it. So basically we had free reign to leave whenever we wanted, so they were very accommodating. We would definitely recommend that campground as long as you're okay with a lot of trees and being in, the, being in a I don't know, more of a woodsy kind of environment. It felt like camping. It felt like camping, is what Courtney just said. Up until it started pouring. Up until it started pouring. But even that is camping. Yeah, I mean, it just wasn't as awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, so far so good. Taking our walk, checking out the facilities. There's a road and a train track back there, but it's not too loud. 
right ball. Yeah. It, I mean, you have to have it. You have to have a railroad right by a campground. It's a requirement. So you can see these campsites have these really nice new electrical outlets with the water built in. So it's a newer campground, very well maintained. You well, try calling that number. Well, this is a new one. I went into the men's room to check out the facilities. When I was leaving, I pulled the latch and on the back of the door and it just snapped off. It just snapped off. Apparently you are um, stronger than you. Yeah, apparently. We should call. That's the same number? What's the number? And this is the Kalamazoo River where we have flood warnings all over the place because as you may have noticed, it's quite wet this year. It's quite wet. Nice little walking path around here though. This path, if we look at the map, this path goes all the way down into Kalamazoo. Miles and miles of paved path for walking, biking, all sorts of stuff. That's really awesome. That is kind of cool. Kind of far for us to bike down, I think. But you never know. I'll look it up. And here is your flooded playground. I mean, that's like inches of water in there. Look at that. Wow. I don't think anybody's going to be swimming, or <laughs> swimming. I don't think anybody's going to be swinging today. There's By the beach. way, and it's gone. in case you're wondering, we did call, we did contact somebody, yes. and maintenance is coming for the handle. Yep. <laughs> well, also because it's difficult to get back out of the bathroom, so probably want to know that and not get people stuck. <laughs> That would have been funny though if you called him like, I'm stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> well, that's the first thing he asked me is, are you stuck in there now? I go, no. He goes, okay, well, that was our first priority. <laughs> every site is the same length. Well, every site can fit 50 feet, I think. It looks like every site's the same length. Yeah. There's one row of pull throughs and then all the rest are back ends. First full day in Kalamazoo. Nice night last night. Woke up, went to the gym this morning, you know, as we do. And first major stop? It's a post-workout um, imbibing. Brewery, yes. Yeah. Bell's in Eccentric Cafe, Bell's and, Brewing. And it's a nice sunny day today. Uh, highs in the upper 70s. Ah. Lovely. This is what I've been looking for all year. I so believe you. Hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Garlic on popcorn, that's our deal. So we decided to get a whole spread instead of getting lunches, huh? Little things. Tomato soup, pork ear, salad, popcorn, deviled eggs. Happy Steve. I'll leave it open until you are all taking care of We're now done with lunch, which was delicious. I'm gonna walk down the outdoor mall in Kalamazoo. <laughs> Popcorn shop, tea shop, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. We love candles, especially when they're in tins, and this one just smells so good. We may have gotten some Christmas gifts. Christmas gifts for family. Early. So that's the coffee shop that sometimes has gluten free stuff. Nice. Thank you. 
was going to be it. Good beer, Michigan. Yeah. I think it's just like they decided to make it definitely like stuff that is just like that they did. Well, this is a very productive afternoon. We got some Christmas gifts. We actually picked up some more incense, which I love, and some candles. Got some ice cream for this guy. It's a cute little area right here. Yeah, this is this is very, very colorful. I'll say it that way. Very, very colorful. All right, that's about it for this trip into Kalamazoo. We are heading back to the Airstream. I need to wash some windows. That sucker is filthy. And the, cleaning the windows will make it, I don't know, a little bit less disgusting. And we're gonna enjoy this beautiful weather. That's right.